Hey YouTube, so today I decided to make a um, no sew tie fleece blanket. I just was in the mood to make something. I'm kind of halfway through it right now, but I thought I'd show you how to make it since it's so darn easy. Um, all you really need for this are some pins, um, a pair of scissors, and fleece. And as you can see, I wanted a really large blanket. This is two meters of fleece. Um, but I mean, you can make one kid size, you can make one bigger than this, smaller than this, it just depends how big you want your blanket. So I decided I wanted two meters. So I've got two meters of this really cute black and pink print. It's pink on the other side. And then I got two meters of just plain black. Because one side's just going to be plain black and one side's going to have the print. That's just how I wanted mine, but you can pick any kind of fleece you want. So the next thing I did was um, laid it all out. It was all flat at one point, and um, I pinned it all together, as you can see. Just, you know, every three inches I just pinned it. Um, and then I saw how much um, extra there was, because you want it all to line up. You want both pieces the same width and the same length. So there's a little bit extra of the pink, so I trimmed that off. Once I did that, the next thing I did is I cut out a four inch square on one of the corners and I haven't done it on this corner yet because I haven't gotten here yet as you can see I've cut all the tassels down there already but basically and now this print is really easy obviously because it's already got the lines in it but I just cut four boxes this way four boxes that way and cut out that chunk of fabric and then um, since this was such an easy fabric I just cut along the lines four boxes in because that's how long I wanted my tassels so let's go down to this corner so you can see what I mean. I'll just spread it out for you. So that's where that box was that I cut out. That was four inches by four inches. And then from then on, I just cut both pieces of fleece four inches up, all the way up, all the way across. Now obviously this is really an easy print for me because I didn't have to measure anything. But if you're not getting one with um, checkers in it already, you can either measure it out all the way along, just put a ruler along here so you know exactly where to cut. Or, if you want, you could just use your thumb. So put your thumb down and then cut, and then put your thumb down and then cut, and so forth. So it just depends how accurate you want them. I don't really care how accurate this blanket is once it's done. It's just going to be a big cuddle blanket, so I wasn't really too concerned about how precise everything was. So as you can see, I've already cut along that edge, this edge, and this edge, and I've gotten to right here. So I'm going to continue along that edge, and then that edge, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so once I've got all the tassels cut, I'm going to leave my pins in until I've got everything tied, just so that it stays nice and neat together. You're going to take both pieces of the tassels, and you're going to tie a double knot. So, just a basic knot. I'll show you once I have one tied. So here's one tie done right here, one knot, and then I'm going to loop it around again. It's really hard to do with one hand. But just like you would tie a basic knot. One goes under, through the loop like that. I'm going to take it and pull it tight. So now I have a double knot with both those strands and I'm going to go do that to every single tassel all the way around. Essentially just tying both my blankets together. Super easy. Okay, and here is the finished product. So I wanted to make this because I really wanted like a snuggly blanket. Now they're heading into fall. This is going to be so soft and warm. This cost me about $40 to make with all the fleece. So it's just a really easy blanket to make. Roll down. Isn't that a nice blankie, Kayla? Whoa! Sausage baby! So nice! That's so cute! 